Hello everybody, it's Savannah. I'm sorry I haven't filmed a video in forever, but that's okay because I'm filming them again now. My mom got a new camera for Christmas and it's really nice, so I'm going to start using it to film our videos and do more looks. This is kind of like an icy blue, like winter, kind of like Elsa come at me kind of look, you know? It's really pretty. Um, I enjoyed doing it. It's pretty much all drugstore. So if you want to figure out how to do this look, make sure you keep watching. And before you go watch this video, make sure you follow my Instagram, Makeup by Savix. Oh, I post like makeup pictures and all that stuff there. So yeah, without further ado, let's just get into the tutorial. So the first thing I'm going to do is take my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer and this little brush and carve out my brow just to give it more of a defined look. And I, it sounds so sick right now. It's disgusting. I'm like a video and this concealer is like really orange as you can see but I paid $20 for this concealer so I'm gonna use it you know with the excess concealer I'm just using it to kind of prime my lid for this eyeshadow look I'm gonna take this real tightening sponge and just spread it out around so for this look, I'm going to be using the Morphe 35B palette, and I'm pretty much going to be using these like three blue colors right here. So the first color I'm going to use is going to be this light blue color right here. It's a matte color, and it's just kind of like an icy light blue just to use as my light transition shade for all the blues we're going to be using. And my voice sounds so bad. I'm so sorry. So I'm taking the Morphe MB23 brush and this light blue shade and just applying that to my crease and outer corner and kind of my lid too as well. Next I'm going in with this shade right here with a denser brush. This is the Morphe MB20 brush and I'm just going to be focusing this on my outer corner just to deepen up the blue look and give it more of a gradient look. So the one thing I don't like about this palette is that sometimes the shadows can be kind of like chalky which I wouldn't expect from Morphe shadows, but they can be kind of hard to make really pigmented sometimes. Some of the shades, but not all of them, because like the blue I just use is very pigmented, but it's kind of like hit or miss with some of the shades. So just to put that out there. To really solidify the kind of gradient like we're going for, I'm gonna go in with this white shade right here and just apply that to the inner part of this eye. So that way you can really tell like we're going for that gradient as I've said like 30 times in the past three seconds so, I mean you could probably all honestly cut creases too but I just kind of like the way it looks better and just really focus that in drag it out to the inner quarter too if you're really feeling it you know and it can be a little bit messy because we're going with the glitter later and clean it up so don't worry Next I'm going to go in with this uh, glittery shade right here with a like kind of flat top brush and apply that to the middle between the white and the dark blue just to blend everything together. And I really want to do more colorful looks on the channel because I usually always do like the same kind of like purples and warm tones and I want to branch out and do different things so yeah on camera this kind of looks like one big color I'm kind of upset make the outside look a little bit darker I'm gonna go in with some black on like a really really small tiny brush and just apply that to the outside and blend it back just so you can see the color difference and kind of slowly bring that up that way it looks a little bit darker it doesn't have to be neat at all obviously Am I in focus? I don't even know. My mom got a camera for Christmas, so I'm using it for videos and such. So let's see how this is going. Off camera, I went in with a little bit of white and I blended out the top part a little bit because it was looking a little too harsh for my liking. But now I'm going to go in with this NYX glitter primer and I'm going to apply that all over my lid and then apply the glitter. Next, I'm going to go back in with that dark blue shade and kind of blend out the bottom, kind of, I mean, outer corner part, just so it kind of blends into the 
no glitter part of the look and it's okay this part's messy because you're gonna cover it up with a wing so like it's okay so next because this really harsh like cut off is bothering me I'm gonna go in with my Becca shimmery skin perfector highlighter in opal and I'm just gonna apply that to my brow bone just to like kind of like pretend to blend the dark blue into my orange concealer so I like doing this because it kind of just covers it up without having to like spend your life away blending it you know so next is the hardest part and I'm going to be taking my NYX white liquid liner and I'm going to be doing a little wing and this eyeliner is so bad it cracks it dries it like it's just it's not really good and when it goes over glitter it looks really clumpy but I don't have another white eyeliner so if you guys have a recommendation for white eyeliner please let me know down below because I need a new white one because this one is terrible but it's the only one that I have with me right now so I'm going to be doing a white wing wish me luck please please pray for me because white eyeliner it makes makes life hard Okay, so I'm pretty sure these aren't even, but it's whatever, it's fine. Um, I'm going to do my mascara now because, as you can see, I got white eyeliner on my um, eyelashes and look kind of weird. So I'm going to be using my um, <clears throat> Voluminous Lash Paradise by L'Oreal Mascara. I love this mascara, but it's not cruelty-free, and I'm really trying hard to switch to cruelty-free makeup. So if you guys have any cruelty-free makeup recommendations, please comment those down below because I am very curious. I'm going to apply this to my top and bottom lashes. And then I'll come back and show you guys the finished look. I really wish I had like a nice nude peach color. That would be really pretty with this look, I think. Uh, I'll just use this because this is what I have on right now. So yeah, that is the finished look, guys. 